must save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. Oh man, opponent, you are a beautiful horse so you kind of need a haircut. That hair is going right in your eyes. You can't even see. No wonder you're always running into walls and stuff. <laughs> oh man. This is coming off our one hour special guys. I'm picking up right where we left off at the end of episode 30 where we did two towers and three or four shrines I forget there is a shrine up ahead but I kinda wanna peek over over this cliff what is down there look at that that is a very interesting looking area especially considering the fact that there are drones down there I'm pretty sure at the end of the wall you have to offer like a certain dragon scale and uh, there's like a shrine with a memory. If my memory serves me right, I think that's what's over there. And there's the shrine on top of Skull Lake, so we'll probably do that one also. I want to hit this shrine that's on along this path, and I want to hit the ancient tech lab that's up here. Actually, let's look at the sign real quick. Skull Lake, Ak Akala ancient tech lab, yep. So there's also a stables up here. Not that I really need a stable, but hey, it's another stable, so. Shrine, shrine should be right up here. I don't have my sensor on. Yeah, I see it. Oh, man, that's a beautiful picture right here. Just orange trees. Just riding your horse down that road. I could see what Beetle has to offer. All right, let's just buy some uh, arrows. I always buy the arrows. Like, why not? Hi. How are you feeling today? What? Is that a rugged rhino beetle? All right, all right, dude. I don't know how I have so many beetles for you, but here you go. All right, let's buy his arrows. You guys see that lantern right there behind Beetle? Like, that looks just like the lantern that you find in Hoteno Village. The blue ones that, well, you had to light them with the blue flame. I really want to light that one with a blue flame as well. But I don't, I don't think we could walk all the way from here to uh, Hateno Village. I, don't, I just don't know about that. I mean, you, you could walk there, but the stick or whatever you're using to carry the blue flame would, would break because it takes durability damage every second that it's on fire, right? So, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Although I do have vague memory of, of Zumwar, uh walking that entire distance to light that torch, but I don't remember if that's what he did or not. Maybe he just joked about it. All right, let's. I wanted to sell some of these last time. Let's just sell like fifty of these. I'm never gonna use them. Wow! Oh yeah, we're rich now. We have over four thousand rupees. All right. <laughs> oh, he's got a quest. Let's pick it up. Haws. I've been on patrol duty lately. The name's Haws. Look at these beautiful leaves on the ground. Oh. Ah. A suspicious guy named Kilton. He runs a shop named Fang and Bone. Everybody wants me to go check it out. All right, yes, I will go check it out. All right, no problem. All right, let's see what the doggy will give us. Let's give him some apples. I give him apples because I have so many. I don't know how I ended up with 130 apples, but there you go. While he's eating the apples, let's just check inside here really quick. Sometimes there's a, a diary with some quest updates. Uh, Treasures of the Falling Star. Yep, 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 yep. No, 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 no. Not again, not again. Oh, another quest right here as well. It's Nobo. <laughs> no, Nobo. <laughs> what are these funny names? I like Akala too. Yep, the spring of power. Alright. 
Um, alright. Is the dog done eating the apples? You still eating those? Are you only ate one? And you are slow. I know you want to lead me to some treasure. Like a good doggy. I know you do. I love the color of his fur. He's such a friendly looking dog. We're going to get the dog treasure. And then... Let's, let's look a little bit cooler here. And then we're going to do that shrine. I love the Zora spear and the Zora shield. I kind of am annoyed that you can't use the spear with the shield at the same time. Like, I should be able to one-arm the spear and one-arm the shield, just not do as many attacks or as strong of attacks. I don't know. Uh. Ooh, that one was actually pretty close by. Thank you, doggy. Hopefully, like, some bomb arrows or something like that. Oh my gosh, I'm good. Ten shock arrows. Not exactly the type I wanted, but I just wanted special arrows. Those are like the most fun items. Alright, let's go do the shrine real quick. After the shrine, we're going to head up the road to the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. One of the coolest places in the game for getting awesome armor and whatnot. The best armor and weapons in the game, basically. Oh, look at that. You can see the smoke of it rising up in the background. Awesome. Alright, starting the episode off pretty strong. Got a stable and a shrine right off the bat. I didn't even pay attention to the name of the stables. I'm assuming it's the Akala region stables, but I have no idea. I didn't actually see what it was called. I'll check next when I get out of the shrine, if I remember. Katosa Og Apparatus. Another apparatus one. Alright. Another apparatus. These ones can be fun. They can also be frustrating. Oh, this one is so fun. It's putt-putt. All right. <laughs> Swing and a miss. It's hard to, to do this. All right. Because the controller is like... <laughs> no. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I bounced it. Oh, oh it was too hard. Okay. All right, this is so weird. I need to reset the controller. Right, let me try again. All right, reset. Easy! Off the pole, baby. Off the pole. But it, where's the chest? Where is the chest? I'm, 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 I'm confused. Where's... Uh oh, oh! Bonus room! Of course! Oh yeah. This, this is the challenge I was looking for. Why don't they just have a whole 18 holes of this? That's what I want. 18 holes of Breath of the Wild mini putt golf, please. Come on, another ball? Another... So I gotta back out and go back in? Sheesh. No, 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 no. Okay. And... Gosh, it's so hard to do this. Oh, that was flawless. Oh, look! Go! Oh, it's going back! <gasps> oh! Oh my goodness, that was... Wait. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. Because I backed out of this before it was ready, the ball disappeared. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the flawless hit again. Oh my god. Uh, uh. Please. Okay, okay. No, no, I'm... I swear I'm trying to push the controller to the right and it's still going forward. Okay, okay. That one was pretty good. Coming in a little hot. Alright, I'm not backing out until I see blue. Oh my goodness. 
But I, I, in all honesty, I would like to see a lot more holes. That was a really fun idea. They could have done a much larger course. Oh, that is a really, really, really good weapon. A great frost blade. Are you kidding me? It freezes enemies. That is an amazing weapon. You do not get this weapon very often in this game. It's not the best looking. Also, somebody reminded me. I forgot who it was in the comments of my last video. I completely forgot this. But if you're in like a hot region, like the Death Mountain, and you're like on fire, if you equip a frost weapon or a frost, uh, you know, wand, it will actually keep you cool. And vice versa, if you're in a cold region, you can equip a fire weapon, it will keep you warm. I totally forgot about that. So thank you for reminding me, whoever that was, I forgot. <laughs> you know who you are. Oh, man. All right, like I have beaten this game Two times. Basically three times if you count the fact that I've watched Zumwer beat the game too. From start to finish. And in fact I've watched this playthrough probably more than once by now. So uh, I've beaten the game multiple times. It's just it's been a while so I've forgotten some things. But yeah that is awesome. Oh that is awesome too that view up there. And this is a really cool region. I'm not going to lie the Akala region. It might be my favorite uh, region in the game. It's just such a beautiful looking area. Come on. Where are you at? I want to cut some grass while I wait for Epona. Sometimes you can find fairies. I'm not kidding. Like, Oh, so hey. Sorry, man. You Bad timing. Alright. Sorry about that, Epona. Sorry about that. Let's go check out this... Uh, Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Take a sip of my tea. What are you guys drinking today? I'm drinking some Earl Grey. I know there's some tea lovers out there. Check it out. I'm not even spinning. Oh, hi. I was looking for a fight. Ice Rod? Does it freeze them? No, it does not. Nice try, sucker! <laughs> Close, but no cigar! Thank you for that stuff. I actually wanted that because I need those things to uh, purchase stuff in the ancient lab. Oh my gosh, an opal? And it's raining. Let's get in. Let's get inside. Get out of the rain. Another torch thingy. I need the blue flame. I need it. They better have a blue flame up here. <gasps> they don't. Oh my goodness! I just remembered. This is its own quest. I forgot there is a blue flame, and it's much more annoying to light this one than it was to light the other one. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, let's get inside. I, it's, and it's. Hey, you, what are you doing here? You guys just randomly appeared, like, right behind me. Are you the one called Link? Yes. Wow, your hair is fantastically uh, shaped. Oh yeah, he wants me to take off all my armor to prove that I'm me. Seems a little bit suspicious. Yep, 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 all right, yep. It's, it's really me. Doctor! Robbie! In any case, I'm really impressed that you made it all the way out to this rather remote location. Did you perchance meet Pura and borrow her power? Yeah. 
She's a child now. I love his goggles with the eyeballs just like looking around. Yeah, she got younger. She's still a child, you know. It's kind of a interesting story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all about. No, no, no. I don't need to tell you the story. Okay, no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're we're on it, dude. We're on it. I do want the ancient stuff. Blue flame from the ancient furnace. Oh my gosh. All right. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do the blue flame in this episode because it does take a little while. Hi. Good day. And. Check it out! How's that? I figured I'd... Uh, oh. Okay. Okay. Her name's Jaren. That's, that's kind of a cool name. Who are you? Oh, yeah, yeah. We do need to go to the Skull Lake Shrine. At night. To check out the Fang and Bone. I got like five quests for that. Let's check this place out. I'm not gonna read all the memoirs. Not yet, anyway. Interesting music. It reminds me of Terraria, like, heavily. What is this? Secret passage? This is kind of cool. Hey! We found a Korok. I was hoping there'd be a Korok up here. Ooh, look at that, guys. I can see the shrine in the labyrinth. Oh, that is going to be a great episode, guys. I cannot wait to do the labyrinth. All right. I see the blue flame, right? I'm pretty sure that's it right there. What are we doing on time? Oh, 13 minutes. Man, I really don't think that's going to be enough time to, to do this, but we can maybe at least get started. We'll see. Let's uh, pick out all the parts from the graveyard of... Ancient uh, guardians here. Maybe we'll get lucky and find a core. Why does it have to stop the game every time I pick one up? Hey, come on. That's pretty much it. Oh my goodness, another Korok? Man, you just gotta pick up every single rock possible. Why would that Korok be chilling right in the middle of the graveyard? I mean, there's another Korok right up on that house, too. Such close proximity to each other. Alright. Let's see if we can actually uh, do this blue flame thing. It is kinda hard to do. Oh, yeah. That's actually really far away. And I don't think I can bomb blast over there. At least not in this spot. Maybe right here. There has to be like a lip so that when I jump back... I can actually... I don't think I could do it here. Maybe over here? Mm. There's kind of these trees like in the way, that's the only thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think... You probably could bob blast like right here, but I'd probably hit the tree. We could try it. We could try it, but I'm probably going to smoke the tree right here. Oh, I didn't. Awesome. <laughs> that was so awesome.
Don't worry about it, bro. Wait. Does the blue flame thing even still work when it's uh, raining? Oh, man, you know what I forgot? A torch. <sighs> Let me mark the uh, shrine. I know I could use a tree branch or, like, any wooden... Let's just chop a tree. Try to find a tree branch. No. I don't have many swords. Oh boy. I forgot I need a torch. Does just a stick of wood work? Is there not a torch like right by here? Oh my goodness. Maybe in these ruins? Please, Nintendo. Come on. You gotta forgive the thoughtless idiots like me. The thing is, guys, this might not be that hard, especially if we use the wolf link, because he'll distract the enemies and I could just run by, you know what I'm saying? But I for sure need a torch. Speaking of wolf link. I just need a wooden weapon at all. I don't even have anything that I could use right now for uh, a torch. I need a, I need a tree stick. That's what I need. Wake up, big boy. Really? Dang, we like destroy those guys. That's like a hundred or two hundred uh, rupees worth of stuff right there. We should be able to get a stick from one of these trees. I mean. Maybe one of the smaller trees? Yeah! Alright, we got a tree branch. Uh. Guess I'm dropping the. Uh, man, I, I actually have like hardly any one handed weapons. Alright, I'm gonna drop the ice rod, sorry. Can I get another stick? Is that. Alright, let's see. Cause, yeah. Alright, we're dropping the Zora Spear too. I'm probably gonna need more than one, that's why I'm picking it up. Alright, now, ooh, a spike. Alright, we're gonna have to leave it. Alright, now we should be able to do it. I, I only have seven minutes on this episode. Alright, well, we'll try. We'll see how far we get. Hopefully the, the water doesn't uh, put the fire out. Alright. And it does. Fantastic. The, the rain, literally, you can't do this when it's raining. Alright, well, we'll do this, uh later let's go get the shrine at skull lake then because it's gonna be lightning storming too let's see there's actually another shrine way up there oof all right that's a long journey let's see if we can do a bomb launch well, thank you, stay. We're actually gonna use... We're gonna use this log right here. I hear somebody sleeping down below, that's funny. We're gonna do this. I messed up. I messed up. I didn't tap. I held, <laughs> I held it. Alright. I feel like I'm facing the wrong way, but... Alright, yeah. It, it was a fail. Oh my gosh. Alright, yeah. You know, that's alright. We can do it this way. Wolf 
Wolflink, don't do it. Wolflink almost messed up my sneak strike. Alright, see the problem is it's not raining, but it's about to be uh, thunderstorming, so... Wolflink eating my acorns. Dang, that's actually pretty far, uh... Where are you, Cookie? Get these fireflies. Wow, a lot of them. What are these rocks for? I don't see any enemies down there. Just a fox. I'm looking for a spot where I can do a uh, a bomb launch because I'm la I'm lazy, guys. I'm lazy, and that's a long walk. Do I have nothing like? All right, guess I'm just gonna bomb these. Sorry about that, dude. All right, maybe I could do it like right here. I don't know. It needs to be high enough up so that when I backflip, I, I get the bullet time. No! My first fire key swing. Actually, that's not a bad idea, setting fire to the grass so I go way up high than, than sailing. Um, actually, I'll take that, Wolfling. <laughs> well, let's just fly down there anyway. Oh! That is a silver lino. I do want his weapon. If I even get hit once, I'm gonna die. If I get hit once by a silver bow goblin, I die, let alone a lino. I do kind of want to fight him, but I also just kind of want to get to the shrine. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, God, he sees me. Wolflink, don't do it. <laughs> Actually, you know what I'm going to do, though? Where is he? He's, like, right here. I'm going to mark this spot with a uh, skull so we know that there's a Lionel there. Because eventually I'm, I'm going to definitely be fighting Lionels all the time. Get the razor shroom. Wow, are these hardy thingies? Oh, they're just little trees or something. Weird. And here comes the thunderstorm. Which is going to make it very difficult to climb. I do love the Akala region, but man, the weather can be a little bit iffy. Would have been nice if I could uh, teleport call my horse, but... Ooh, a fire wand. Well, my royal claymore is about to break, so let's just grab this anyways. Those guys actually punch kind of hard. Got the fire rod. Awesome. We're actually really close to the shrine, guys, but I am at 30 minutes. 
I'm gonna at least try to get to the shrine. Oh yeah. What's with all the guardians being dead like in a body of water? Wolf Link killed it, then ate it for meat. That's actually pretty awesome that he finds ways to heal himself. Oh, he just ate, he just healed for like three hearts. Oh, there's a dragon. That's the fire dragon over there. Dang, he's like way over here. Pretty awesome. All right, so we are at the shrine for Skull Lake. Unfortunately, uh, it's thunderstorming and I can't get over there because you can't climb during the rain. So I'm just gonna wait it out. And next episode, we're going, gonna go ahead and grab that shrine and then we will head back to the Akala Tech Lab thing and do the blue fire. And then after that, maybe we'll do the, uh, the labyrinth. That looks really, 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 really fun. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. And as always, I hope you subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next episode. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.